All right, so you want to learn how to make a server. Well, I'll be teaching you how. This server will only work on mobile, uh, PC, Windows edition, and uh, on Xbox, but that only works on like the LAN or local area network. Meaning you won't be able to connect with one of your friends from a different state or a mile away. So what you'll be needing uh, to pretty much make the server is Windows uh, server software for Windows. Uh, once you download that, you might also you will also need WinRAR or like uh, any like folder on zipping software, and you will also need Visual C++, uh, Visual Studio 2015. These are all software uh, or links I will be putting in the description. All right, in the description below, I uh, pasted a command that you're gonna have to type in into the CMD. So press the Windows and then R button, and then before you click on Enter, uh, or type in CMD and then press Control Shift and then Enter. This should uh, open CMD in Administrator mode. Once you're there, press Control V, and then press Enter. It should give you the OK. Once you have that done, uh, you're pretty much done with CMD. Uh, when you're port forwarding, make sure that the device you chose is a computer or device you will be hosting the server from. Uh, in this case, this is my computer's name, the computer I will be hosting from. If you aren't sure where to find your computer name, just go to settings. Uh, and then go to system, and then about. And it should be right here. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is enable port forwarding. And to do that, you have to go to your Wi-Fi provider, like website. In my case, it's uh, Xfinity. And I just went to the Xfinity X5. So the next thing I want to do is uh, you want to like add port forwarding. So one, two, you have to add two ports, uh, 19, 13, and 2. Uh, and then the second port that you have to connect to your computer. And just do manual setup. Port is 19, 13. And 33, I believe. And just leave this as it is and just apply changes. Yeah. So you should have these two ports added. Uh, once you have that, you're pretty much done with port forwarding. Um, yeah. Okay, so the next thing, uh, next thing you have to do is extract the folder with using uh, WinRAR or any file extractor software. So go to extract files um, and then go to the folder you created. So once you have that, uh, you can just start the server from there and it should be up and running. There we go. And I connected. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, it's a bit laggy at the moment, but it's normally never like this laggy. So. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to creating a server. So in case you want to like change the world or add a different one, you just uh, go to the worlds folder and then add the world. And then you have to go to a server. Uh, and at the very bottom, it should say level name, bedrock level. So just change this to the name of your world. So in this case, it's bedrock level. Uh, yeah, just change it to the level name. Uh, this folder, or um, yeah, this folder here comes with a Bedrock server how-to, so uh, this will also go over some things I won't be going over in this video. So how to change like the difficulty, allow cheats, max players, um, yeah, how to like make a certain pl like player operator viewer or just 
uh, visitor. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to creating the server. Uh, but to connect to it is a different story as you need to uh, find your IP address. And to find that, you have to go to uh, what is my I my IP dot org. So once you go there, it should give you your IP address. Uh, once you have that, you can use that to connect to the server by creating add server. And then once you have that server, just go to connect to it pretty much. But since I just shut down the server, it won't connect. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is.